Engineer 775 here working on finishing a, a little project that I had started. I had shown you um, a, uh, it's a little rain catchment system I didn't quite finish and sometimes just just one of those days I wanted to finish a couple of things and um, so I'm going to show you just a quick manual um, diverter for a, a rain catchment system. In my opinion you can never store enough water and uh, for critical situations. I just visited uh, some folks in Texas and they were telling me how they went 120 days without rain. So if you're relying on rain, you need to store a lot of water. And you know, if the grid's down and you can't get water out of the ground and you're relying on rainwater as a backup, just make sure you got enough to get through um, 120 days. That's a long time to go without water. So, and they were able to do it because they they stored a lot of, they stored all the rainwater they could catch on their home and other buildings so they did a really good job and sometimes you know we grade people whether it's on doomsday preppers or whatever we grade them on on water storage everyone I don't care if you live in Manhattan or Miami or Missouri or Montana I don't know what's up with the M's but um, you uh, you can all store water so there's a lot of people we encounter they've done tremendous investments towards their preparations but they don't have enough water stored and they argue with us about the technology they're using blah 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 um, if you don't have it stored you don't have it now, unless you're blessed to have a situation where your water is gravity fed to your location that as I've said many times is the best so if you have that that's great um, and I can't argue with that so or if you live to, next to large bodies of moving water then you're you're very fortunate most people are not so everyone can store water even though I have springs and wells blah 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 um, I've got I store a lot of water so in my swimming pool I'll show you just uh, it's winter time so it's not maintained but you know 19,000 gallons here and then I showed you how I used my gutter system I don't like gutters but uh, it, they're they're handy so I capture off a of 400 square foot on the top of my house and I bring that water down through this downspout to this manual diverter. And I'll put a link. These are about $35. I'm going to try to reach up here. I usually, I'm pushing this little lever. So it's just a little Y. So I can send the water down and fill my pool. And I found, you know, last year was the first year I never had to add any water um, to the pool other than from the roof, the rainwater which were great and then I can divert it over to the rain barrel and that's what I finished up today because I hadn't put my rain barrel in so I've got a 165 gallon rain barrel here and um, let me just show you I can take a five gallon bucket I can hook a garden hose to it whatever I want to do but I'm gonna set this here and, and get water everywhere <laughs> so that's that's not bad so I got plenty of water. So, you know, that's a nice stored way. Now, you know, it's not a lot of pressure, but it's plenty to uh, be able to, you know, you could live off of this. You could filter that water with a variety of t different types of filters. You could use that water just for your gardens. And what I did here, again, I, take, I took the water down through. It's a four inch rubber, rubber gasket. And then I have an overflow on the back two inch so when the, tank is, when the tank is full as you can see it's almost full and here's my overflow right here the water just flows through that tube so it's pretty pretty darn close to full 165 gallons in this tank and then it runs down into the overflow which I just finished covering up which is a drain and I tied it into my uh, this is the corrugated drain pipe that runs out beyond my fence out into the woods so if it rains really hard and my I'll I'll run I always have it set up to run into the swimming pool first and once the pool is full like it is now then I'll just push that lever over and let it fill my rain barrel and once the rain barrel is full it overflows out into the yard so nothing's wasted other than what goes out into the yard um, but it's filled two very large 19,000 gallons over here, topped it off, and then 165 gallons here. So $35 for a manual diverter makes it very simple to put that in your downspout if you're doing something like, like this. Again, my swimming pool 
is only good because it's water storage. <laughs> Other than that, it's a pain. But uh, if you've had one, you know what I'm talking about. And I guess I believe that is that is it. So if you've got any questions, let me know. These are this is simple. Anybody can do this. This is not high tech. It's just you know think ahead a little bit. Do the um, drains, the overflows internally and uh, it keeps it keeps it clean the gaskets on it keep the bugs out and with the gutter guard up on up on top it keeps all the big particles out but then you can flush it I'll first flush divert manually into the pool because that's easier to keep clean and then after it's run for a while I'll put the rest of the water in the rain tank in the rain barrel so and you can do any shape size you want to do um, I guess that's it all right, Engineer775, thanks for watching. Make sure you have enough water stored. If you're a prepper, you've got to store water. Let me know, how do you store water? And how do you treat the water? Look forward to your comments.